Hey everybody, David Barnes here with another episode of ET Info, where I bring you information on new and emerging technologies from IBM. In this video, I want to show you a very cool technology. And I know I always say very cool technology, but it is. That's all I like to show in my videos. This is around a new open source technology called the Open Cooperative Web Framework. Then I'll show you Open CoWeb being used by a group of pulmonologists and radiologists in an NIH funded study called COPD Gene. It's a study to help decrease the steadily rising occurrence of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Well, to understand Open CoWeb, it helps to first understand a little bit about its history. The group I work for in IBM, the Emerging Technologies Group, we've been working for a long time on a project called Blue Spruce, and it enables concurrent real-time interaction between browsers. Actually, I should say amongst browsers because it supports a one-to-one, -one, a one-to-many, or a many-to-one environment. Essentially, it's cooperative web browsing. So an example of cooperative web browsing. Let's see, uh, I'm a customer service rep. My customer's on the other end of the phone. They're looking at a web page. I'm looking at what appears to be the same web page. I make a change, they see the change. They make a change, type in a field, I see the change. I can walk them through the whole process. I circle something on the form, they see that. They click on a link, I get the updated link. The best part about the technology, it's fast, it's efficient, it uses simple JavaScript technologies, and it doesn't require any plugins. Well, being firm believers in keeping the web open, we took the code from Project Blue Spruce and we donated it to the Dojo Foundation, where it became the initial project source for the project Open CoWeb. Now, any developer can download the code, you can use the code. If you want to, you can become an active member of the development community. Well, like any project like this, you need to prove the value of the code, the value of the business case, I guess, before you continue development. I gave you the example of the customer service rep, obvious business value. But the use case that I like the most, the one that I want to show you here, is the result of engaging with Dr. James Crapo. He's a pulmonologist at National Jewish Health, and he's one of the co-investigators on the project COPD Gene. So here's a hard-hitting fact. COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is the fourth leading cause of death in the United States, and it's growing. A lot of smokers get it. It's been tied to smoking, but a lot of smokers don't. And the question is, why? Is there a genetic link? So that's what the folks at COPD Gene set out to find out. Doctors, radiologists, pulmonologists around the world working cooperatively on a 10,000 patient study, 10,000 participants. And these are participants that undergo testing, including CT scans, which I'll show you in a moment, that produces a massive amount of information. And therein lies the problem. It's a massive amount of information that today they have to send around documents and slides, and it's just not conducive to the cooperative environment they set out to create. Well, that's where Open CoWeb comes in. So let me pull up a stool, pull up my machine. Actually, I'm already sitting on a stool. I'll pull up my machine and I'll show you Open CoWeb in action, helping the COPD gene project. Before I go on with showing the scenario of how the COPD gene folks use this, let me point out a couple of the technical things of Open CoWeb that are happening under the covers so you can understand what's going on here. When I scroll on something here and I click on something here, all of the other people that are in their browsers in the Open CoWeb session see it, but I'm not sending it from my browser to theirs. Rather, I'm sending a simple event that tells their browser what to do. That's why it's small and lightweight, and that's what Open CoWeb is doing under the covers. For those that want to know, under the covers, it's a framework using a JavaScript API that's sending and receiving all of these CoWeb events. It deals with all of the remote notifications of the user changes, and it takes care of all of the conflict resolutions. Underneath that, the framework's using all open web technologies like Comet D Bayou, and for what I'm doing right now, we're using a Python co-web server built on a Tornado web server. That's the technical part of open co-web. Now let's look how it's being used. I am one of the investigators on COPD Gene. I wish I were. I'm not that smart. 
But if one of the investigators said, hey, I want us all to get together and look at something because I've got something of interest and I want your clarification, your observations. I could go and select a patient from this list. Let me go into a list here, say, I want to look at gold four patients. Those are very severe patients with COPD. And I could select a patient from here, go off and look at the patient information, etc. Rather, I go over to the graphs and I say, hey all, I was looking through these graphs and some of our scorings and I didn't see the same thing that you all saw. So let's take a look. These, by the way, are different things that they scored while looking at the CT scans, things that I don't understand. I take a look at this one here. Scroll down and I can see these are the scorings applied to individual study participants. Those dots are study participants those that are participating, the more than 10,000 people participating in this study. So these are those and this is how they've been scored. I'll scroll up and I'll say, this is the one that was of special interest to me. I click on it. I see that this is the patient. I click, I should say study participant. I click on this, I can look at their scans, but rather first I'll look at the information. We're all on the same page. Everybody else is seeing this. I'll look down here in the lower right. I say, hey, this is a 75 year old white male, 53 smoking pack years. He's not a current smoker, thank goodness, with a BMI of 23. In the upper left hand corner, I can see that these visual scores were represented by these specialists, radiologist, pulmonologist, radiologist, pulmonologist, etc. These are their visual scores. Well, some of them differ. Why? Let's all take a look. I go and select the scan for this patient. I can look at their expiration or their inspiration. I click on one and the scan begins to load in my browser and everyone else's. So let me fast forward in time and all the scans are loaded. And by the way, that took about 20 seconds on my system. I'm on a DSL line at home. The line's not too fast. What it did was download it about two meg, but you'll notice that this is a CT scan with, um, 679 slices that downloaded. I talked to the other participants, I'm sorry, the other investigators in the study. I say, okay, let's take a look at this inspiration. Here is the patient's CT scan as they're breathing in, in a browser with no plugins. This is so cool. As it gets to a certain point, one of the investigators, she clicks stop. Now she's up in Denver. She clicks pause rather, and she said, oh, I wanna zoom in here and I'll share with you all what I saw. She grabs the measurement tool, takes it and says, okay, I saw this and I saw this and I saw this and I saw perhaps this and that's where I gave my visual scoring. One of the other investigators say, oh, well, I also included this and this because I think it's important for this reason. And there you have it. Multiple specialists around the world sharing their knowledge cooperatively in a simple web browser. As I said in the beginning, very cool project and a very worthwhile use case. If you want to learn more about Open CoWeb, maybe start using the code, get involved in the development community, you can visit their website at opencoweb.org. And if you want to learn more about all of the cool things they're doing around COPD gene, you can visit their website at copdgene.org.